Sergio, and today I'll be talking about how to properly assemble a three-piece ceramic. So what is a three-piece ceramic? Like the name says, it's a wheel made out of three separate pieces. You got the, the outer barrel, the face, and the outer lip. Uh, so the three-piece ceramic was first introduced by a company uh, called BBS, that was a German company. Uh, they were founded in 1970, but came up with the idea for this design in 1972. Uh, what made this so revolutionary at the time was the, its weight and the strength of it. So unlike past wheels, uh, this was a forged wheel, which meant it was made out of a solid block of aluminum instead of being poured into a cast or molding. Uh, notable companies now are BBS, OZ Racing, Enki, Warp Wheels Japan, <coughs> and now they're, they're more popular with the people that like tuning their cars, kind of getting the look and feel of like an older car. So. The things that you will need. Uh, for this certain kind of wheel that I'm talking about, uh, you need an eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter socket, uh, which will help tightening the bolts and nuts. You need one ratchet with an extension to help reach uh, the nut and inner barrel, and then a smaller ratchet or wrench to hold the other side. Uh, you need a torque wrench to be able to tighten it correctly. Uh, silicone with a gun to help seal it, a pair of gloves, uh, but that's optional, but recommended, especially when handling silicone. And then you need 34 of the bolts and nuts to help put the wheel together. So the first step is preparation. Uh, you wanna make sure that both, all three pieces are completely clear of silicone, or else they're not gonna to bond together correctly. Uh, you get this by using different grits of sandpaper or a sharp edge to kind of scrape it off. And then you begin to apply the silicone. And that is on the outer barrel, which is the big black one on the top, and the face. You add two little beams uh, across everything, but try to avoid the holes because you don't want your holes to get stuck. Uh, piecing it all together. So it's kind of hard to see, and I wish I brought the face, uh, but there's a little notch inside of the rim that you're supposed to line up with the valve stem. Uh, it's something that they tell you to do to make sure that the wheel doesn't get off balance or anything. Uh, once you apply all the silicone, you want to tighten it all down with four bolts on opposite sides of the rims to kind of get it in and have it hold correctly, and that's when you start doing the rest of the bolts. Uh, and then to finish it off, you, you use a uh, torque wrench to tighten it properly. Now this step requires you to go online and do a little bit of research to find out exactly how tight you should do it. Uh, you have to go by factory specs or else the wheel could start wobbling when you start driving. And of course you don't want that to happen. Uh, the final step is sealing the rim. Now this is, I wouldn't say the hardest, but definitely the most annoying step. Uh, you wanna apply generous amounts of silicone on all three pieces, as you can see in the, in the picture on the top, and spread it out with your finger. Uh, you wanna let it dry for 24 hours, and then go back to it as many times as it takes. And the reason why I said it's the kind of the most annoying part is that if you do miss a spot, and you already have your tires mounted and everything, you're gonna have to take the tires off again. You're gonna have to go back in and do it over and over again. Uh, when I first did it, it took me like four attempts to get it right. So that's why I'm saying it's the most annoying. Uh, so yeah, once you have that all done and you make sure that there's no air leaking out, uh, you're pretty much set to go. So to kind of end it all, um, the good thing about these rims is that they make almost anything look good. I would always joke around with my cousin saying, you put these on a smart car and it'll look like a million dollar car. Uh, it's a good way to make money if you're looking for a different way to do it. Uh, like I said, the, the process that it takes to make these makes it more expensive. Uh, nowadays, these kinds of rims are going for $3,000, $4,000 for a set. So if you're lucky enough to come by a beat up set and willing to do the work to, to bring it back to life, you can make double, triple your money depending on what kind of rim you get. Like for when I bought mine, I paid sixteen hundred. Uh, if I fix them up, I could sell them for anywhere from twenty-eight to three thousand. So, yeah. And uh, the good thing about three-piece wheels is uh, it offers immense uh, amounts of customization. Uh, you can get different sizes of all three pieces. You can get wider barrels, wider lips. You can paint them whatever color you want and it allows you to kind of mess around and work with uh, the car that you have. So, yeah, look out for any sets of three-piece rims when you're looking to buy a car, and you know, it could be a good choice in that. Thank you.